In this video, we'll bounce the equation. We have lead to nitrate plus iron three sulfate. So let's start by adding up the atoms on each side. I have one lead atom here, and I have a nitrate here, this NO3 on this side and on this side. And for this equation, it's much, much easier to consider NO3 as just one item. So I have one here and the two times the one, so I have one times two, that gives me two of these NO3s, these nitrate ions on the reactant side. I have two iron, and again, I have a sulfate here, SO4 and SO4. So I'm just gonna say I have one sulfate and the three outside times that. So I have a total of three sulfate ions. Okay, on the product side, I have one lead, and I have one nitrate here times the three. I have three nitrates, one iron, and then just one sulfate. Let's look at this. Our leads are fine. Our nitrates, we have two here and three here. So it's a little difficult. If I have a three here and a two, I'm thinking that maybe it's going to be best to get this to an even number. So I'm going to put a two in front of the FeNO3 three. So now I need to update the atoms here. I have one iron times two. That gives me two iron atoms. And actually that solves our iron atoms. And then for the nitrates, I have the three times the one, so I have the three nitrates, and two, this two goes to everything here, so two times the three nitrates, that gives me six nitrates. But I can fix those if I put a three in front of the PbNO3 two, I have one times three, that changes my Pbs. Let's fix our nitrates. So I have one nitrate here times two, so I have two nitrates, and then I multiply that by the three, and that'll give me six of these nitrates. So we're almost there. Our nitrates are fine, irons, and then the sulfate and the lead, they aren't fixed. We need to do that right now. So I could just put a three in front of the PBSO4, one times three, that would fix the lead, and then the sulfate, one times three, that would give me three sulfate ions, and we're done, this equation is balanced. So with this one, the trick was getting this odd number to be even, but then overall, thinking about these ions, they're called polyatomic ions, as just one item. That makes this a lot easier. You can imagine if you were trying to count off all these oxygens and sulfurs, it gets messy pretty quick and it's very easy to make a mistake. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for PbNO32 plus Fe2SO43, and thanks for watching.